Hi, my name is David and welcome back to another video from Ghost White Toner. In today's video, we're quickly going to walk through the process of printing a dark cotton t-shirt with a white and multicolor print using our latest white toner printer Little Ghost, Ghost White Toner and our A and B transfer media. With Ghost White Toner you can easily print textiles like cotton t-shirts, like canvas bags, on also caps and all sorts of other garments using a very flexible transfer media which we call Laser Dark. Laser Dark is a two-step transfer media that consists of the A foil, which is the actual media we're going to print on, and the B paper, which is like an adhesive glue paper which we are going to use as a first step in the transfer and then transfer our design to a cotton t-shirt. So what do we need? Of course we need little ghosts which is based on a Canon LBP 623CDW printer. We need our ghost white toner cartridge. We need laser dark A foil and B paper, which can be recognized by the yellow lines on the back. Um, you will also need a pair of scissors. You will also need a sticky lid roller and you will need uh, some towel and some regular sheets of copy paper and a sheet of silicone matte finish paper also available in our web store and of course a cotton t-shirt. So before I start my printing process I will insert the laser dark A foil into the printer. To insert the laser dark A foil into the printer I just open the lower tray and I insert the foil with the mud side facing up. The mud side is a little bit scratchy you can see that here and you can easily insert it like this and then you just close the paper tray. I'll just make sure that I have my white toner cartridge installed by opening the front tray, taking a quick look at it, ghost white toners inside the printer and we're good to go. For the transfer with ghost white toner it's important that everything you want to appear white in your final design needs to be black on your screen. I will quickly walk you through the print settings in the printer driver right now. So let's head over to the screen. As you can see, I've got my file open here in uh, Adobe Acrobat PDF. It's a design that we um, created with canva.com, really easy software. I can really recommend to create quick designs. And we've got a nice California sunset palm tree design. So I'll just hit the print button and I select my ghost printer um, from a network. I will not hassle with any of these settings here. I will directly go to um, details and then I get all the settings from the printer driver. You will basically just take a look at the quality pane and at the paper pane. So let's check the quality pane first. As we are working uh, in a transfer process we need to print in mirror image mode so I just make sure that this box is checked like it was um, and that uh, our design will print in a mirror image mode. And for paper settings, I'm going to choose that I'm printing from the top drawer one, which is the lower drawer, and that my paper will be normal too, which is what we recommend for using the laser dark A foil. Then I just confirm this and hit print. Once the print is out of the printer, we can take it, you can see it looks like this, um, printed all nicely. And I'm now going to clear up my workspace a little bit. We'll need the t-shirt later. And before I start the transfer process, I'm going to preheat my heat press. The press is set to 160 degrees Celsius, and I'm just quickly giving it a preheat for about 120 seconds. Then I open my heat press and I put the A foil down on the bottom plate, which is hot, and I will take my B paper. A handy trick is to fold over one of the edges of the B paper before you cover it with the A foil. Make sure that the yellow lines are facing up so that you have the coating facing down towards your design. Then cover everything up 
with some regular copy paper. We're using like five or eight sheets together. And then you just close your heat press and press it for 120 seconds with a medium to strong pressure. During that process, the glue on the bee sheet will melt and have a thermal reacted reaction with the toner on the A-foil and so the glue will only transfer to the printed areas. This means that when the transfer is finished we don't have to do any cutting or any weeding, it will be a self-weeding transfer. When time is up we open the heat press, remove our copy paper layer, open the table and quickly wipe over the design with a cloth this is just to have an even heat distribution. And then I start peeling from the top. I lift off the bee paper from where I folded the edge. And then I peel in a smooth and rolling motion. I don't peel too, too strong. I just make sure that the glue comes off the paper. When I come to the edges of my design, I tend to slow down a little bit. Um, just to make sure that I don't tear off anything from my design. And as you can see, we get a quite nice and clean peel. All right, there we go. As you can see, everything from the bee paper um, has now an indention where the toner was and it's now transferred to the A-foil. If you lift it up, uh, you can also feel it. It's kind of sticky to the touch. Now we need our scissors because from the bee paper sometimes an indention line is left on the edges of the A-foil, so I quickly cut around the design. That's really, don't need to be very detailed here, just to make sure that we don't transfer this line to our garment. Okay, we dispose of that. And now we can already go to the garment. We're using the same temperature, same pressure for the transfer press to the t-shirt. So I just place my t-shirt on the heat press one thing I like to do before I press my t-shirts is two things. Uh, I'd like to use a sticky lid roller um, to get rid of any like dust or any anything that I don't want to have on my t-shirt. It's just a nice trick. Um, so I'm making sure that I don't transfer anything I don't want to have. Okay, once this has been done, I'm giving the shirt a quick pre-press. Um, I'm doing that just for five to ten seconds um, just to make sure that if there's any moisture in the garment or so that lifts off um, so that it doesn't interfere with my transfer process. Once I've done this I can align my design. This is super super easy because the A-foil is transparent so you can really see where you want your design to sit and once I've got that fixed I just cover it up with um, a sheet of the matte finish paper for protection and then I press for 30 seconds. 30 seconds is for cotton t-shirts if you're using different materials like polyester or mixed garment or even materials like felt. Um, you will just adjust the temperature and the time to your needs. The A4 can be used with temperatures as low as 100 to 120 degrees when you go onto the garment. For the A and B process, you will always use these 160 degrees, but when you want to transfer onto more sensitive materials, for example like silk, um, you can decrease the temperature, also decrease the time. Remember, every time you try something new, to test that out before you go onto your client's garments. Once the time is up, I'm going to open the heat press, lift off the t-shirt, take it off the heat press, and now that, guys, is really important Make sure before you peel your design that the shirt is cool to the touch. So you don't want it to be hot. It comes off the heat press very, very hot. So we just wait a little while to let it cool down. All right, once the t-shirt is cool to the touch, we can just peel off the design. This is really easy. Just turn it around so you can see it better. So you start on one of the edges of your design by folding over the edge. It's really important that you, you know, kind of fold it over and then you roll over design in like a rolling motion. You can see I'm just using my hands. If you've got a bigger design, you can use both of your hands and you just peel it off with some pressure. Okay, there you go. As you can see, we've got a clean transfer, everything transferred from the A-foil 
only where the printed areas are to the, be, to the, to the t shirt. Okay, now you can see the design is pretty shiny. It's kind of glossy, sticky. I don't like that kind of finish. So we will give it a matte finish using our matte finish paper. So back to the heat press, quick open up. Okay, and then just use the same silicone paper you've used for covering up in the first press and repress your t-shirt. That will be like five to 15 seconds also depending on the garment. I will do now like 10 seconds or so and you will see that will give the shirt a really nice matte finish and it will also make the print feel much much softer on the garment um, and this is particularly true for heavy prints like when you have a lot of color um, and a lot of areas on the print. So let's see how that looks. Right there you go. There you can see we've got a nice transfer with everything that we need. We've got great whites, we've got great color, got a cool shirt, quick and easy right from the screen using Little Ghost White Toner Printer and Laser Dark A and B Media. We really hope you like these videos and find these videos kind of helpful um, to get your own shirts done. Um, please leave us a thumbs up below and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Also, um, please make sure to activate the bell so that you will always get notifications when we put new videos out. Um, you're also very welcome to leave your questions or um, ideas for future videos in the comments down below. Um, and we will also link all the products that I've used um, in the comments down below so you can directly access the products on our website. So that's it for today guys. Thanks for watching and see you next time.